Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I'm your host, Kelly Sparks. Uh, today, I'm going to continue on with the Scotch series of whiskey reviews. Um, I picked this one up today. This is a little sample pack you can get, more than likely get at your uh, local package store, liquor store, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a Glenfiddich three pack. It's got three 50 centiliter, 50 milliliter bottles. Uh, it's got the 12 year old, the 15 year old, and the 18 year old. So today, I'm going to go ahead and review the 12 year old. Go ahead and crack this bad boy. This even comes with a little tubes. Cool little bottle. Make a little Christmas ornament out of it. Man, that's a taste right there. That's a, about an ounce and a half, I think. That is a solid pour. <laughs> uh, so, Glenfiddich, 12 year old single malt. Um, on the back of the box, it's got a little description. It says, Our signature malt scotch whiskey has complex rounded flavors with elegant notes of fresh pear and subtle oak. Um, on the distiller app, hashtag I'd love for you to sponsor me, um, it's got a flavor profile of fruity and vanilla with a score of 86. So it's not top, it's, it's an entry level scotch. And I'm going to try to do, I'm going to do these three and then try to go to. Uh, a few other entry level scotches that are readily available. I've uh, been on a kick for a while that everything that I've done was limited releases and older bottlings and hard to find so it's kind of unfair that I get to drink and taste them and the folks out there in TV land might not, <laughs> not, might not get to find it. Alright so here's the description. Glenfiddich is a family owned distillery and despite their 10 million liters produced annually, uh, they warehouse all whiskey. Get in there. Get in the TA. Having some technical difficulties here. They warehouse all. Yeah, they produce 10 million liters annually, and they warehouse all whiskey on site. That's a massive distillery. Uh, Additionally, they have their own cooperage and have their own bottling plant for their distinctive three-cornered bottles. The 12-year-old is a benchmark not only for Glenfiddich, but for Space Sub whiskeys in general. Tasting notes, aged predominantly in used American whiskey barrels, the 12-year is aromatic with orchard fruits, butterscotch, and wood spices. There are tasting notes of oatmeal with cinnamon on the palate and Though the finish is brief, it goes gentle into that good night. You know, there's definitely some fruity notes on the nose. It says uh, the cast types are uh, ex bourbon and ex Oloroso sherry. This is the first time I've had Glenfiddich in probably two years, three years. And I really have to say I enjoy that. It is, it's a lovely little taste. I mean, I could probably have, could have had a guest on and had a, a sample of each. Uh, might do that with the others, but man, that's actually pretty damn good whiskey. Uh, I don't think I could have appreciated it as much as I do right now. If I hadn't have gone through my uh, Isla peated scotch phase and then my heavy bourbon phase. So now I can actually, I 
I can feel those little subtle nuances in the whiskey. And it's at, at one point in time when I think I first this was uh, say 2014 when I first started drinking scotch. I want to say Glenfiddich was the Glenfiddich 12 was probably the second scotch that I have ever bought and purchased and drank in my life and I'm getting I have much more respect for it now than I did all those years ago I can appreciate it much better uh, I remember one time I had some in a flask <laughs> used to take some uh, used to carry a flask with me to uh, nightlife nighttime shenanigans out and about in town and uh, I, I had Glenfiddich 12 in my flask at one time and uh, gave somebody a drink of it and they said it tasted like a cigar so I'm definitely not getting a cigar now I have had cigars that kind of have some of these same flavors but Man, that's a solid scotch. That is uh, decent. I mean, it's pretty tasty. I like it. So, I suggest you go out and find you one of these little three packs if you're interested in learning about other scotches. Uh, this is probably the cheapest. I think this ran me less than 20 bucks. You get three uh, 50 milliliter bottles. Um, probably roughly a pint I think I might be wrong on that <laughs> maybe a half pint uh, no it's what a uh, pint's 200 milliliter yeah so no I don't know whatever um, but I mean at least you're not going out spending because I know the 18 year old 18 year old I think is like a hundred and change the 15 year old 70 the 12 year old 50 so you're looking at 250 dollars if you were to go out and buy 750 milliliter bottles of each of these and spend 20 bucks you get to figure out if you like it or not taste it try it sample it whatever these things are invaluable i mean they're they're worth their they're, they're definitely worth uh buying them if you see them sitting on the shelf 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 uh, pick one up, try them each separately, individually. I wouldn't just bang them out right back to back. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a solid, solid whiskey. I like it. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera. Uh, Y'all have a good day. Remember, follow me at Son of Thor 3. Like the video, share it with your friends. Uh, check out Ad Beardy Idiots podcast. We post all kinds of shenanigans. Um, <laughs> we recorded a pretty good one. Uh, well, it was okay. Uh, Saturday night. It, it's, it was kind of fun. It was a little taboo topic. Uh, check us out. Share us with your friends. Um, drink some whiskey. Share it with your friends and family and have a good time. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good night. Take care. Godspeed.